a new version of the Magic Kingdom fireworks, updates to how you book hotels and park passes in Disney World, and we're all going to be looking for a new shower gel that instantly reminds us of Disney. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. So whether you're going to the Disney parks tomorrow, in two weeks, or anytime in the next few years, or you're just here to get your Disney fix, we're covering news that is going to affect you. So let's jump in. First and foremost, we've got changes to Magic Kingdom's fireworks show. So Disney Enchantment, the newish fireworks show in Magic Kingdom, may have only debuted last October, but it's already seen some major changes this week, probably due to the lackluster reception of the original version. So a new section has now been added to the show as a sort of intro that plays just before the show officially begins. The new intro honors Disney World's 50th anniversary by taking a look at some of the individuals who made it all possible, Walt and Roy Disney, with projections of archival footage on the castle alongside audio clips from the very beginnings of the Florida Project, which is of course the codename for Disney World. Next updates have been made to Park Pass booking for Disney World. Park Pass reservations definitely seem to be sticking around for the foreseeable future, but there's a new update that might change how you book them. Disney World's Park Pass reservation system will let you book for more than one ticket type at a time, so you can now book Park Pass reservations for both single day tickets and annual passes together. Another change that has been made is that you can now modify both your date and your park for your Park Pass reservation without canceling it first. Hallelujah! This is going to be very, very useful. Now, before, if you made a Park Pass reservation, you would have to completely cancel it to book one for a different park or a different date. But now you can just switch it. So much easier. And you don't have that terrifying limbo of if I cancel this Park Pass and then within those five minutes that I'm booking another one, Park Passes sell out for the place I want to go then I'm lost without a park pass. Now, we did notice in the My Disney Experience app that you can no longer see who a park pass belongs to. This will mostly be confusing for you annual pass holders who have a bunch of friends and family linked to your account. You can still see whose pass it is, but you'll be directed to a web browser first. And if you're hoping to book that way far in advance Disney trip soon, you may have to wait a little longer. If you only wanted to book a hotel room, what they call a room only reservation, you used to be able to do that as far out as 499 days from the current date, but not anymore. You can now only book your Disney World hotel room only reservation through the end of Disney's annual product release dates. In other words, it appears room only stays will be limited to whatever dates Disney has already released for general booking for things like full vacation packages. Currently, that's December 31st, 2023. New annual packages and extended hotel bookings typically open in late spring, so keep an eye out for that if you're starting to plan a spring 2024 vacation. Looking to rep your favorite Disney park and favorite Disney snack while supporting your favorite Disney blog? Well, celebrate all the Magic Kingdom lands with this DFB exclusive Magical Land sweatshirt. This comfy new crew neck would be perfect for a winter trip to Disney World, but if you're traveling in the warmer weather, this design also comes in a tee. And if you're a major Dole Whip fan, check out our adorable Dole Whip tee. All our shirts come in multiple colors, so you've got options to make it your own. You can find all of our tees and sweatshirts and stickers and face masks and more over at merch.dfbstore.com. All right, there's one scent Disney fans will instantly recognize, and it's not Pirates of the Caribbean water. H2O Plus brand bath products and that sea salt scent have become synonymous with Disney hotel stays. H2O Plus has been the partner for bath products in Disney hotels and Disney Cruise Line rooms since 2006, but the company has announced it will be retiring the brand at the end of the year. Disney hasn't announced an end date for their partnership with H2O Plus, but it looks like the products will remain in the hotel rooms for the time being. We're just not sure what may happen after the end of the year. So if you're looking to stock up on some scent memories, you can still grab H2O products at Shop Disney or on Amazon. We've got the product links over at DisneyFoodBlog.com and we'll link those articles below in the description. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique has reopened. Yep, this special salon for kids ages 3 to 12 where they can go get princess and prince makeovers has finally reopened in Magic Kingdom. In fact, it happened a day early. If you were lucky enough to be in the park earlier this week, you may have spotted the walk-up only reservations as this experience soft opened. This is a really popular experience and reservations do book up quickly, though keep trying if you couldn't snag one as there may be cancellations. Reservations can be made online on the Disney World website for both the Magic Kingdom and Disneyland park locations. The other locations will be opening later. 
Disney World annual pass holders have a new way to save on both merchandise and hotels. From September 14th to October 14th, the annual pass holder merchandise discount is going to increase from 20% to 30%. Remember to have your annual pass on hand to get that discount. Pass holders can also save up to 25% on some Disney World hotel rooms for stays most nights from October 23rd through December 25th, 2022. For all the details about which hotels are included, head to DisneyFoodBlog.com. If you are a Disney Plus subscriber and you'll be in the parks on Disney Plus Day, September 8th, you're in for some special perks. On September 8th, all Disney Plus subscribers will get the chance to enter any of the theme parks at Disneyland or Walt Disney World 30 minutes before the regular park opening. Those staying at select Disney World Resort hotels or the Disneyland Resort hotels will get to enter the park of their choice 60 minutes before the regular park opening time. Disney Plus subscribers will also get free Disney Photo Pass photo downloads at some spots in Hollywood studios in Walt Disney World and the theme parks at Disneyland Resort. There will also be special character meet and greets and cavalcades at Hollywood Studios along with special movie screenings at the hotels and even some themed snacks in Disneyland. Okay, are you ready for a Splash Mountain update? Tiana's Bayou Adventure is slated to open in 2024, we already knew that, and that'll take the place of Splash Mountain in Disney World and Disneyland. As that day gets closer, we're seeing more concept art and details emerge on this re-theme. New Orleans artist Sharika Mahdi has already created some artwork that's inspiring Imagineers in the development of this new re-theme, but Disney has just released images of a new painting from the artist. It depicts a scene of jazz playing frog musicians that lovingly illustrates the jubilance and lively of this musical city, quote unquote. Disney hasn't shared yet when the Splash Mountain rides will close for the updates, but we'll let you know as soon as they do. We've got some updates on Epcot's coming soon Moana attraction. This week, we got a first look at some of the design details at Moana Journey of Water, that walkthrough attraction that's going to open in Epcot. The Walt Disney Imagineering team and crew of artisans have begun sculpting the rock work, and we got a peek at some of those structures and foam sculpts. This is the first real close-up look at the work being done here. The view from the monorail is still very construction-y. And we've got major changes for character meet and greets on Disney Cruise Line. So if you're going on a Disney cruise soon, major changes are coming to how you're going to interact with the characters. This is happening next week. Disney has confirmed that all character meet and greets on Disney cruise ships will return to normal by August 29th, 2022. That means you'll be able to hug the characters and ask for their autographs once again on the seas. Some of the ships have already started the process of returning these meet and greets to normal, but others, including the Disney Wish, have held off. But all will be back to normal in just a few few days. And booking is opening soon for Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser 2023 dates. The Star Wars Hotel has had an even more limited booking window than the rest of the Disney hotels, but if you've been waiting for those 2023 dates to open up, you won't have to wait too much longer. Booking's already open for Golden Oak and Star Wars Affinity Group members for Star Cruiser dates from January through September 2023. DVC members can start booking on the 30th and annual pass holders on the 31st, and the rest of us can begin making reservations starting September 1st, 7 a.m. Reservations can be made by calling 407-939-1800 or opt to use a Disney travel agent so you don't need to worry about waiting on the probably hours long phone hold times. We love Small World Vacations. They're Disney experts and offer their services completely free. So that's our recommendation if you do want to use an agent. One more thing to note on the Star Cruiser, if you are hoping to upgrade your dining to include a seat at the captain's table, you'll be paying $50 per person instead of $30 per person for those 2023 bookings. And we've got another Genie Plus update. I promise it's not a huge one this time, but it'll make your life a little bit easier. Disney Genie Plus will tell you what time you can book your next reservation so you don't need to become an expert on the 120 minute rule. Though if you do, we've got plenty of videos that will help you out. The time you can book will appear as a banner at the top of the app over there on your tip board in Genie Plus in My Disney Experience. All right, you got one more day to try some of the limited edition Princess Week treats released at Disney World and Disneyland, like the Snow White 85th Anniversary Petite Cake at Amaret's Patisserie in Disney Springs, vanilla chiffon cake layered with apple mousse and cinnamon mousse with white chocolate crunch pearls and topped with a whipped frosting and yellow fondant. This is worth the 22 bucks if you really like the look of this cake and apple cinnamon flavors, but if that price tag has you bulking, there's another cake option at the Polynesian Village Resort. For just $7.29, you can get the Moana Mini cake available at Kona Island Coffee Bar and Captain Cook's. Vanilla cake, mango mousse, and a wave of glaçage, buttercream fondant, and white chocolate decor. Also cute, although not as stunning as the Emirates cake, 
it is still very tasty. Over at Kringla Bakery Og Cafe in Epcot's Norway, you'll find the Anna and Elsa cookie, which is actually two sugar cookies sandwiched together with chocolate ganache for just $3.79. But beware fondant haters. If you like something a little fancier, over at Le Petit Café at Disney's Riviera Resort, you can grab the Aurora Fruit Tart. This one has Diplomat Cream, Raspberry Mousse, and Fresh Berries for $6.99. It's very fresh and delicate. By the way, in case you're wondering, Diplomat Cream, which I just Googled because I wasn't 100% sure what it was, is whipped cream and pastry cream mixed together. There we go. Now we know. And downstairs from Le Petit Cafe at Bar Riva, you can sip on True Love's Kiss, which is limeade, mango, guava, and raspberry glitter foam. At $6.49, this one's certainly worth it for the photo, but it is very sweet. Cast members did let us know you can get it spiked with vodka too, which would definitely cut that sweetness for the over 21 crowd. And if you're in Disneyland, you can get the Princess Cupcake and Princess Carriage Donut at the Grand Californian Hotel Craftsman Grill for $7.50 each. Each, both a simple, straightforward flavor with some cute themed designs. Tusker House in Animal Kingdom, the all-you-can-eat restaurant where you can also meet Mickey and his safari outfit, has been operating with family-style platters brought to your table since it reopened. But on November 1st, 2022, full buffet service will return. We don't have a full menu yet, but once it drops, we'll let you know. Over at Gasparilla Island Grill at the Grand Floridian, there's a brand new, very tasty chicken sandwich. The chicken and brie sandwich is grilled chicken, brie, ham, spinach, raspberry, mustard, and mayonnaise on a brioche bun served with french fries or house-made chips for $11.99. We got some Thanksgiving vibes thanks to the combo of raspberry mustard with brie. Though we would have liked a little bit more cheese, this was a great sandwich that's hearty but not too heavy. Over in Disney Springs, they're still naming food after parking garages for some reason. Vivoli Il Gelato is the latest to jump in on the, I guess it's a trend, that started with Deluxe Burger naming burgers after the color-coded garages at Disney Springs. The garage drink features lime and orange sorbetto and grapefruit vodka soda topped with candied orange and lime. Sounds really good. In merchandise news, those purple floral mini ears that first appeared in Disneyland at the beginning of the month have finally been spotted in Disney World. We found them at Plume et Pilette at the France Pavilion in Epcot. The headband is light purple, while the ears are dark purple with a floral motif, and the middle of the headband features a layered bow. Grab them for $29.99. Our social media director says she thinks these are Isabella ears from Encanto, but I'm not sure, and she can't prove it, so you can let us know in the comments if you think these are supposed to represent Isabella. And we found both pairs of these Haunted Mansion mini ears in the Emporium in Magic Kingdom. They're also in Disneyland, by the way. First up are the bride ears featuring Constance Hatchaway, AKA the bride, with yet another one of her faceless husbands. And the middle of this band features some bridal flowers along with a veil. The Haunted Mansion glow-in-the-dark ears are inspired by the ghost host's outfit with a black and green striped wallpaper design on them and little glow-in-the-dark bats. The bow has the infamous purple wallpaper pattern on it and the ghost host's hat. Both pairs of ears are $29.99. Need a little more bling on your mini ears? Well, maybe these designer Vera Wang ears will hit the spot, if you have $600 to spend on them, that is. These black velvet ears feature a mini tiara and tulle veil with a total of 442 individual glass crystals, plus pearls and some accent acrylic crystals. We spotted them at Uptown Jewelers in Magic Kingdom. If you want a pair, move quickly because that $600 does not mean these won't sell out soon. All right, croc lovers, a new pair of 50th anniversary crocs have arrived. The new pair is blue with a pattern on them that features the castle and the classic Disney World logo. We found this new pair of crocs at Celebrity 5 and 10 in Disney's Hollywood Studios for $69.99. These 50th anniversary pairs usually go fast, so be sure to grab them if you want them as soon as you can. We'll also let you know when they become available online over at the blog. All right, looking to try out the new features of Magic Band Plus, but haven't found a design that catches your eye yet? Well, Disney recently released several new Magic Band Plus designs. We spotted a Halloween design at Riverside Depot in Animal Kingdom, with Mickey dressed as a pumpkin surrounded by Halloween candies. Over in the dark room at Disney's Hollywood Studios, we saw a Jack Skellington Magic Band Plus and a Sally Magic Band Plus. Visiting the Emporium in Magic Kingdom, we found a Haunted Mansion Stretching Room Magic Band Plus inspired by the portraits in the famous stretching room scene of the Haunted Mansion. And the Disney's Electrical Light Parade Magic Band Plus that we previously had seen online is now available in Disney World. All of these designs are $44.99 each. A new Dooney and Burt collection has arrived on Main Street. Uptown Jewelers in Magic Kingdom, as well as Creations Shop in Epcot, are where you can find the Emperor's new Groove Bag collection. Three different bag sizes feature the colorful Cusco Llama print. There's also a limited edition Magic Band along with the bag collection. We only spotted that item in Magic Kingdom, though. And this print is a little weird. I feel like if you were just carrying this bag through, like, Target or something, people would just think you really liked llamas. 
Now we've seen and heard of bubble wands, we've seen snope wands, but how about a fog wand? We found this stitch themed fog wand over in Big Top Souvenirs and Magic Kingdoms Fantasyland for 30 bucks. Just fill it with water, pull the trigger, and you've got a portable fog machine that says aloha and cowabunga. You can turn the sound effects off if you need a break from Stitch's voice, however. And heads up, moms and dads and caretakers in Disney World, this is going to be a lot less messy than a snope wand or a bubble wand. And magic key holders in Disneyland can get their own Mickey popcorn buckets right now. This metallic ombre purple and pink balloon shaped bucket is only available to magic key holders and is a limited edition item. You can get it for $18.25. All right, that's the news for today, everyone. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you want more news every single day, we've got it coming to you completely free on our DFB newsletter. The link to sign up is right there in the description. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon soon.